National Library of Virtual Manipulatives is a free resource available to teachers and students from grades pre-K through 12. Many district planning guides reference this tool, so it's important for teachers to know what it has to offer. Though NLVM has lots of manipulatives available to use, I will show only two different ones that elementary math teachers can use with their students. The first tool that I'm going to show is the base 10 blocks. This can be found under number and operations. Notice how the manipulatives are divided up by grade level. So we have a number and operations for pre-K to then again for three through five, and on down six through eight, as well as nine through 12. So the one that I'm going to show is actually um, base block subtraction. Now, as this comes up, you do need to um, make sure that you have Java on your computer, and Java does not run with Chrome, so you need to make sure that you're not using Chrome for this particular one. Now with um, base 10 blocks uh, subtraction, what's really cool about this is that it's showing the comparison method of subtraction and as you move blocks around, um, your recording will be done for you to the side. So we need to go ahead and match up all of our red blocks to our blue blocks. However, um, we don't have enough blue blocks here, so we can just take one of our tens, just like we we show how we, you know, take away from our nine tens. So we're just going to take one of these, drag it over to the ones, and it automatically breaks apart for you, and it records it for you that now you have eight tens and fifteen ones. So as you um, match these up the blocks will disappear, which really just um, helps the students with the matching process. And then once you have how many ones are left, it go ahead and records it for you. And then you can do the same thing with your longs or your tens. And once you do this, oops. you'll see that you only have 110 left, so your answer is 17. Now, this is nice for the students um, if they want to do this at home and they don't have base 10 blocks. Um, this can also be done in centers if teachers don't have enough uh, base 10 blocks for everybody to use. Um, it can be done on the big screen while everybody else is working in groups with the other base 10 blocks as well. So the second one I'm going to show is actually um, spinners. So I'm going to need to go back to the beginning. I'm going to go to my data analysis and probability. So spinners shows up in multiple grade levels. And a lot of these um, tools will repeat for different grade levels. It just depends on how you want to use them. So if I click on spinners, you'll notice off to the side it does tell you how you can use this tool. But one of the things that I think is pretty cool is you can start off just by spinning it around and having uh, just different um, random events occur. You can also change your spinner. Let's say that I want less. I only want three different colors. I can apply this, and now I have three different colors. But let's say I want to record my results. So if you want students to see how this um, translates into actually recording results, what's really cool about this is you can do it yourself and just spin, and it automatically will record the results to the side. But if you want also for students to just do a very large number, you can come over here. Let's change our... So we go back to clear. 
you can come over here and let's say we want this to happen 20 times and without having to hit spend 20 times you can just click the number 20 and it will go ahead and record the results for you to the side over here and then this can be a whole nother lesson about how can we then um, use this particular graph that was created to make a graph you know for the class where we actually have a title and we label our axes so those were the two that I wanted to show but there are lots of different um, tools available we do have things for algebra and especially since this is for older grades notice in high school we have lots of different things um, functions, grapher, line plotter. Uh, we also have geometry and uh, we have some really cool ones for geometry as well as measurement. So hopefully I will look through these and um, I know that NLVM has been around for a long time. Um, but even though it's been around, I don't know if everybody knows what all it has to offer. So I would suggest looking into this. Thank you.